And it's Tegan at five. How old are you? Five. How old are you? Five. How old are you? Five. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the dinosaur ate my phone. Oh, no. Hey guys, so today, today's the day. All these plants have got to get a new home. I've started hardening them off. They're about to go outside for the day. But I need to build beds. And hopefully I'll be able to get at least five of the beds made today. I would like to get them all I would like to get all of my beds built by the end of tomorrow and filled. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's what I would like to do because Sunday it's supposed to rain and then it's going to rain Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. It's the wet season, so I got two days to get those built. I've got a head start. I've already got five of them kind of, you know, set up. So let's put those together and start building the other ones. We also got to pick up compost from, from our compost heap in town. And I've also got like, I guess you'd call it topsoil. And I'll show you guys that later. Alrighty, let's get to it. So close. Alright, got all five of them cut. And ready for assembly, I guess. Well, I don't have the corner post, so I got some of them. But not enough for all, so I'm gonna have to cut some of those up. Yeah, five 10 foot long boxes out of barn wood, I guess. It was in my barn. <laughs> Somebody order five 10 foot by four foot garden boxes, <laughs> raised beds, whatever. All right, first five. What do you want, kitty? Yeah? You gonna help me build the rest of the garden beds? Oh, Draco. He's one of our 
I guess farm cats, though he spends just as much time inside. But we're gonna, I'm gonna, I don't think Draco's gonna be much help. Make a bed or possibly two out of this. I don't know, I'd cut, I cut that out just for the chickens. When, you know, that was a chicken coop. But between this wood and between this wood, I should be able to get five boxes done. There's also, I don't know, this might not be too, might not be long enough. Um, that one I'm making out of the white wood in the other room, that's only gonna be seven feet long. But the rest I want to be eight foot, so I think I'll use some of that old crap that I have no plans for. Some of that. Like that headboard would be cool. Do a little Roots and Refuge uh, dedicated bed and <laughs> plant some tomatoes in it if I use that bed frame. I know this seems like a lot of wood, but it's like all miscellaneous kind of stuff. I don't know. I just, I don't want to take too long, so I'm going to try to find all the eight foot pieces I can and things to make it easier so I'm not like piecing together these shorter pieces. Wish me luck. Well, I think this one's put to bed. Ooh, that was bad. I know. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> How cool is that? There you go. And before anyone freaks out and said, oh, you used an antique bed, you're gonna ruin it. Well, it was already ruined. A bunch of water damage and stuff, and everything was warped. Top of that's broken off. It's just not worth fixing. It's not gonna match anything in our house. I ain't got time to fix something like that anyway. But it is going to make an awesome garden bed. All right. Just made it at sunset. I got them all built. I didn't get much footage of building these because it was a race against time. Probably my favorite one. <laughs> that plastic is gonna go in the aisles and stuff. Um, 
It was left over from something, I don't know. So I figured I'd use it to help keep the weeds down. And this one and this one are gonna be switched. But <laughs> I gotta put the goats in. They already are fed for the night. Alright. That'll put a fork in me, I'm done. Gonna get up early tomorrow and start filling these things. Probably. I don't know. I'll try to film some. Make tomorrow its own vlog. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. If you don't, then why'd you make it this far through the video? Alright guys, have a nice day. Catch you later.